Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'd love for you to subscribe. Just click the buttons down below or you can go to my regular channel and you can click on subscribe and the little bell so you can come back for more content every time I post, which is five days a week. Today we are going to show you all of my Christmas decorations. Sorry for the bad lighting. We live in the Northwest and it is officially like the gray season. This is like not. <laughs> so we're gonna get the camera off of my face and onto the Christmas decorations. I will take you around my whole house and show you all the decorations that I've done for the holiday season, except the tree. The tree is supposed to go right here and I'm actually going to pick it up today. We've been debating for the past couple weeks on whether or not we got a real tree, which is two days after Thanksgiving, we get it at Costco, or if we were gonna splurge and get a fake tree. And I finally convinced the husband that we can get a fake tree, so that's what we're gonna go and do today. But for right now, it was a little early in the season to put the tree up in November, but I got all the other decorations up, so let's go and show you around all the other decorations. So these are the custom shelving units that we built a couple years ago. They're from Ikea and we kind of custom framed them out. I'm going to walk you around all the little details of this shelf. I just wanted to show you an overall view of it. Starting on the top shelf, we just have a tobacco basket, a cute little round sign that I picked up years ago. I forget which store I got that one at. My sister-in-law, Jenny, gave me that cute little snow globe with the tree and the truck. She knows my style. The little star set there is actually for my nativity set, but it does not fit on the shelf that I have the nativity on this year. And I kind of like it there anyway. And then these little wood houses I made a few years ago. And then there's a little behind the scenes. <laughs> the battery pack hides up there. On the next shelf, I have the little truck candle that I got at Marshalls or Home Goods, whichever one you want. They're all in the same store to me. And then the little jar from the Target Dollar Spot years ago. And then we have a cute little picture frame of my girls. That was from our back to school photo session. They're super cute there. Then I have a little mini manger scene right here, as well as a medium sized one up here on that little stand. The next shelf is pretty simple. I just have a wood box that I made and I have my chat books inside them. Down here, I just have a picture frame of three of our four girls back when they were little. And then I have a little farmhouse and a lantern. I got the farmhouse from a friend who got it from her $4 grab bag at Michael's. Down on the bottom shelf, I have an advent house as well as a little bucket with a tea towel hanging out the edge of it and a picture of our family in Hawaii for the first time. Oh, not the first time, because there's Ashley down on the ground. That was our second time going to Hawaii. Up here on the top shelf is my favorite nativity, and I got that manger set last year. And then I just have a picture of Christ right next to it. On this shelf right here, pretty simple. Two little silver buckets, and then another jar from the Target dollar spot on a little stand. And then I have a little glass cloak encasing another nativity set. Then I have my garland in the center of the shelving unit. I actually love to layer the garlands. I have one that says holiday. I actually have the other piece to that. It says happy holidays, but I didn't put up the happy part. Then I have a red ball garland going across in two layers. And then I have this cute little gingerbread one, but he doesn't stay up and I haven't had time to get the little pieces of paper that clip to it in order to keep it standing straight up like this guy. He likes to fall forward, but I'll get to that. And then I have another light set right here from the Target Dollar Spot. That was actually from the 4th of July. So reuse, repurpose. Fits right in with Christmas. Back behind on this shelf are two little houses. One of them is actually an ornament, but I just, I love to use ornaments as decorations. And then I have this little two-tiered stand from the Target Dollar Spot as well. <laughs> I think everything in here is from the Target Dollar Spot. Those little salt and pepper shakers are all from there as well. The little truck and the two houses. And then my friend made that Believe sign and that I made the Families Are Forever sign. Just a fun little display there. Tucked back in there are two little houses and one little nativity set next to a house. The only change I made to this shelf was adding the black 
wooden shutter from the Target Dollar Spot and two little figurines down here. Up here on this shelf is another one of those barns that I got from my friend's grab bag. And then my truck with a little Santa hat on it and my little teardrop trailer with a cute little Christmas banner on it. So this shelf right here isn't completely done because I normally put some greenery out, but it's a little too early in the season. But what I end up doing when we get closer to the holiday is I put little twigs of greenery inside each of these little stumps and I turn this into a little mini forest. I made that little truck sign over the river and through the woods, which is why I like to use the little tree stumps. And then the two houses from the Target Dollar Spot along with that little figurine. If you're new to my channel, you'll know that I love the Target Dollar Spot houses and trucks. There's some more from the Target Dollar Spot and my husband and I, whoops, can't really <laughs> see us very well. That actually is our birth announcement for our third child. Down here are houses that I made a few weeks ago and a little truck. My daughter actually like kind of displayed them so I kind of need to <laughs> fix it just a little bit. I do need to sand the houses down a bit to give them a little bit more dimension but I thought that was kind of cute how she displayed them. Then in this little tobacco basket here I just have these little gift card boxes that I got from Marshalls a couple years ago and I thought that was really cute to just kind of stick them in the, in the basket. A lot kind of going on in this little basket down here. I have little Christmas cards that I can send out for thank yous or whatnot. A Christmas storybook as well as a little journal. And then I got that sleigh from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And I just got a couple other regular home decor pieces that are tucked in there. Wood pieces as well as some little antlers right there. I forgot to mention these little light sets came from the Target Dollar Spot and they're my absolute favorite. My goal is to actually find a whole bunch more so that the rest of the shelving unit can have some on every shelf because <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with them. But they, they look really good at nighttime and I just love them. On this shelf, I did a little bit different, kind of kept it a little bit simple. That light is a wax melt. <laughs> it's kind of bright right here on the counter, but it's okay. I made this wall decoration last year. I will link the barn quilt video that I did last year. I've got another one on my mantle and there's the tree one. And then I also made these decorations a couple years ago with my daughter. Super fun and festive. And then there's a picture of us at Christmas time when we only had three little munchkins. I wish we could recreate that photo with all four of them now. Moving into the kitchen, I've got this cute little tray that I actually made from scrap wood. And then I got another one of these lanterns. I actually have a dozen of these I got from a friend. I actually use them for parties all the time. And then I have these this box with the same lights from the Target Dollar Spot. I actually keep my twine here in this box because it is super easy to use for presents and gift wrapping and hanging up ornaments but then it's also cute as a decoration. And then there's a little sleigh and this little ornament came from the dollar spot at Target this year and I just changed the ribbon that was on it. Over here on the kitchen side, I just have a cute little display with a plate and a house and the figurine truck. And then I put together this little hot cocoa bar, nothing fancy, I just got these cookie cutters the other day at Hobby Lobby with my girls so we can make some cookies. We have a little snowman and the candy cane sign from the Target Dollar Spot last year or the year before, I can't remember. Then I have a cute little mug that is actually a candle, a truck, and some candy canes. This is our second box of candy canes so far, <laughs> and they're not even using them in their hot cocoa. Then I have a little jar of cocoa down here. With, see, there's the twine. I use it all over the house during the holidays. And candy cane and a little tea towel from the Target Dollar Spot last year. Then I got these ones at Marshall's the other day. I don't love that it doesn't completely match the red, but my daughter does like to use these when she takes hot cocoa to go to her friend's house or to go to high school, middle school. So I thought that was kind of a fun thing to get for them when they go out. Way up here on my shelf, I have our letter B's, the one Christmas one, and then the right one that's regular up there for the regular decorations. And then another lantern and another one of those little snowmen. I didn't change out much up there. I might try and add another figurine or change out the little trees up there, but I just ran out of stuff for now. Then I've got this little box that's here on my table. 
I didn't do a theme on the table. I just kind of made it look cute. Two houses and then the truck and trailer. Those are salt and pepper shakers, you guys. If you want cheap decorations that are really cute for tablescapes and boxes like this, get salt and pepper shakers. I mean, seriously, so stinking cute. So this is actually like such a cute set and I think it was only like $4. So such a good deal. And then I have the two tiered tray from the Target Dollar Spot, little figurine truck. Again, it's a salt and pepper shaker. These are our hot cocoa mugs. I just put one of them on display. I actually could use that one over in the kitchen. It's a little spoon holder, but I like it here in the basket instead. And then I have little truck napkins back there. Moving into the living room, I've got the little blanket that we just got from Hobby Lobby. The extra one's peeking around the corner over there. And then here's my mantle and the two shelves on the either side. I didn't, I kept it simple this year and I'll explain why. So across the mantle, I like this wood sign look and just kind of layer them up. So I have my barn quilt right here that I did for Christmas last year. That's the video I was talking about with the Christmas tree. I will link that one so you can see that. It's also in the Christmas playlist. You can check it out there as well. And as a lot of these decorations are in that playlist. So you can check that out. This fresh cut sign was from Target and I actually just beefed it up with extra framing on the sides. That's just a vinyl decoration that I made a couple years ago. And then this one is the collab video that I did recently in the Buffalo check, but I like white and red instead of black and red, or what is the other combo? <laughs> Forget. Anyway, black and white. So I, that was a new one that I made this year. And the greenery is why I kept the, the mantle a little bit more simple this year, or at least for right now. I have a little light set on the top right there where I normally put greenery. This fireplace makes this section really, really hot. And so when I put greenery up there too soon, it just dries it up too quickly. I mean, it's the week before Thanksgiving right now when I'm filming this. You're seeing this the day after Thanksgiving. I'm not gonna add greenery for a little while just because it just heats up too much from the fireplace. I'm also not hanging the stockings yet because I just, again, it's not Thanksgiving yet. Not quite ready for the stockings to be hung by the fire. So we'll hold off on that. And then I just wanted it simple up here. So I put one little Santa guy here. These are our regular signs that I keep on the shelves all year. And then I just usually add a little sprig of whatever holiday goes with the season. So there's the little Santa guy up there as well. I rarely add any kind of decoration here on the stairwell. But I did add a little hat and mitten ornament on this little sign that I made. The white portion of that board is from the Target Dollar Spot and then I added a frame to it. And then in that jar I will add greenery, but we're again, it's just a little bit too soon to add greenery or else I'd be changing it out every week. I hope you enjoyed this home decoration video for Christmas. I really love decorating for Christmas. I do decorate early. Part of that is for this channel. We gotta get things out there to be in an inspiration for you guys as you're getting ready to decorate for the holidays. So I hope you enjoy your decorating and get some inspiration from this video. I will link that playlist for all the other Christmas decoration videos that I've done over the years and I hope that inspires you. So I hope you come back for more. Give this a video a thumbs up if you like this style of video as I decorate for new holidays and leave me a comment if there's any portion of this that you like the most or if you have any questions on how, how or where I got something from if I missed it. And I hope you enjoyed this. Happy holidays and take care you guys. Goodbye.